Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our uh, weekly uh, This Week in Baseball betting show that we do with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Uh, today is uh, Monday, May 12th, and uh, Troy West had a great week in our videos last week. We'll uh, find out what he has to tell us about the upcoming week's games. Uh, Troy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Peter. An outstanding week so far right now. We've got the Pacers up 3-1 in the NBA and our Blazers kind of underdog pick, not looking so hot down 3-0. Right. But nonetheless, a great week in baseball. Excited to be back on the show. All right. Well, I'm going to start tracking uh, all of our records. And uh, last week, we both did well. You did phenomenally well, though. Uh, I went overall 8-6 uh, and six and 1 in the recommendations that I thought might be a good idea. That was for plus 1 unit. You had 6-1-1 one, and one in uh, the plays that you thought might be a, a good play. That's a plus 4.9 units. Right now, we're going to do the midweek games. And um, last week, uh, you told us, only one play during the midweek games, the Heron Strasburg under. That one was a winner. So uh, thanks for uh, your all your great advice last week. And how are things going in baseball at uh, at AllPlaysWin.com? MLC have been outstanding, Pete. We've really tracked the Seattle Mariners now over 15 and six now tracking the Mariners over 21 games over the course of the season. That includes total plays, betting with the Mariners or against them. We really try to focus in on one or two games that we feel really strong about during the week, and it's paid dividends, Pete. So it's been a great baseball season so far at allplayswin.com. All right. Well, let's see what you can tell us about uh, the midweek games coming up this week. I have three series that have caught my eye. Two of them are totals, and uh, let's start with, with one of them. Uh, first of all, Atlanta at San Francisco. Right now, you know, uh, we've talked about this before, actually, in some of these shows, and Atlanta's offense is just not really getting it done. They're kind of, uh, I'm just not buying you. Some people are saying that uh, that they have big names in their offense and that they'll start to uh, start producing, uh, you know, in the near future. And maybe that'll happen. I'm not quite buying it. Now, this week they're going into San Francisco, which is a pitcher-friendly park. San Francisco has the best uh, bullpen in baseball in terms of bullpen ERA. So I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking that we get unders. Atlanta has been 65% unders on the year, and uh, San Francisco just 53% unders uh, on the year and at home. But with, uh, with Atlanta coming in, I think that'll pressure them more towards unders, and I think we see unders in Atlanta San Francisco. What do you think? Yeah, no, I would completely agree with you, Pete. Tonight, I know it's Monday. Not many people will see it, but you're going to hit Tim Lincecum against Gavin Floyd. Lincecum typically does pitch better at home. He's been kind of a mysterious pitcher over the last couple of years, but I'll still lean under. And then tomorrow on Tuesday, you're going to get Miner versus Bogle song. Both those guys have underachieved so far this year, but I think on a night game, like you said, in a hitter's ballpark, two lineups that have been struggling to get runs across the board, I would lean under. So, yeah, Pete, I would agree with you. I think unders are good bets with both. Both these teams, both really good bullpens, pretty good starting pitching for the most part, good yeah. pitching matchups all the way through. I would lean under as well. Okay, good to hear that. That's an official recommendation. And then Pitt at Milwaukee. You know, Milwaukee, uh, they kind of stumbled in May so far. They're a minus 24%. ROI, but they're still tied uh, for first place in all of baseball in ROI with San Francisco at plus 24% ROI. Um, and R Ryan Braun is coming back uh, now for this series, and that should uh, obviously help their lineup a lot. Pitt kind of, uh, you know, they, they have been an undervalued team at times uh, in the past, but this year they're not looking too great. They're a minus 12% uh, overall and also minus 31% overall in terms of ROI on the road. And that's the third worst in all of baseball. So here they are on the road at Milwaukee. Milwaukee gets Braun back. I'm thinking maybe we bet Milwaukee in this series. Well, it's a really tough series to handicap. And they're going to get Garrett Cole, who typically has been mm -hmm. pitching better at home than on the road against Estrada, who has been a better home pitcher. But overall, a tough series to cap beat. But both yeah. these teams, to me, have good bats. I actually think that these pitchers and these hitters have seen enough of this pitching. I'm going to lean towards the over. Even on mm -hmm. Wednesday when you got Liriano versus Peralta, Liriano at 0-3, really underachieving this year. I think both these bats have seen to be come alive over the last week or so. I'm going to go over. I think it's mm -hmm. tough to cap these teams one-on-one -on -one with these matchups. Both teams have been inconsistent this month. So I'm going to actually tend to think that the bats are going to come alive, and I'm going to lean over in this series, Pete. All right. So you want to make that an official recommendation to take overs in the Pitt Milwaukee series? Official recommendation. You know, even Thursday, you're going to have Wandy Rodriguez going against right. Gallardo. 
Rodriguez comes in 0-2. Gallardo struggled as of late. I just think both these teams have seen these pitchers and mm-hmm. times. I think the bats come to life. Official recommendation on the overs. All right. I can actually see that. I'm tending to um, agree with you. And the last time this happened was uh, in last week's uh, Cubs-Atlanta series. I like the under. You said that, uh, that you preferred uh, Atlanta in that one. Atlanta got the sweep, and two of the three games went under. The other one was a push. So we were both right the last time this happened. So that might be a, a good thing to hear. And then the third series that's interesting to me is uh, similar to Atlanta, San Francisco, the Cubs at St. Louis. You know, St. Louis, tell you, we, their, their reputation is they have um, a lot of big bats in their lineup, but they've had some trouble producing this year. I'm not quite buying uh, the St. Louis lineup right now, but their starters should be as good as ever. And the Cubs, as usual, have a lineup that's looking pretty weak, but they do have the strength of their team is their starting pitching, which is decent. Uh, St. Louis has been 56% unders on the year. The Cubs 56% unders on the road. Generally a pitcher's part. Two weakish lineups, two decent starting rotations. What do you think about unders in the St. Louis series with the Cubs? Yeah, why do I feel like every week the Cubs are playing the Cardinals? I'm not (laughs) sure why, but it seems like every week they're playing each other. But no, I would lean under as well, Pete. I know on Tuesday you're going to get Jake Arrieta, who does typically struggle against the St. Louis team, but Adam Wainwright's due for a good start. This is a guy that struggled now his last couple of outings. I think he bounces back at home. I would definitely lean under in that Tuesday game, and then it's always hard to bet overs with Michael Walk on the mound, so I would go under in that game on Wednesday as well. We're going to get Walker versus Hamill. Hamill's it's outstanding this year as well, four and one. So now I would agree. I'm going to go under, but man, these teams still see each other quite a bit. So. <laughs> It'll be uh, interesting, but I'll stick to the under. All right, good to hear. That's definitely a recommendation of mine. All right, that's all I have for the uh, for the midweek series. Is there anything that caught your eye in terms of pitching matchups, team matchups that you think might have some value? You know, I think it's going to be interesting to see the Oakland A's at home against the Chicago White Sox. Mm-hmm. I would lean towards the Oakland A's to start mm-hmm. getting hot once again. Their pitchers have been inconsistent. They've been inconsistent, but I think the White Sox is a good series for this. Or excuse me, a good series for Oakland to get hot. I would lean towards Oakland having some value in that series on Tuesday. You got a pretty favorable matchup as Peranza goes against Carroll two and one. So I just lean Oakland. I keep an eye on Oakland. I think they'll take at least two out of three against the White Sox at home. All right. Well, the well Oakland has been uh, one of the best teams in baseball to bet on this year and for a while now. So I uh, can't argue against the recommendation to bet on Oakland. Troy West from All. Plays win.com. Thanks so much for these midweek recommendations. I'll take a look at the weekend games.